And this is my last station. I'm about to be out of here once y'all done with this. So go keep this nice and quick. Yeah, Jax, just uh, what's the summer been like? Just kind of getting prepared for year what, four now? Four, like? year four, yeah, now. I know <laughs> so I'm getting old been? now. It's crazy. <laughs> what's it just been like just getting ready for this season? Um, It's just been normal. Just, I mean, a lot of workouts. Um, I was out in Colorado out there at my house out there just working out in the altitude, getting used to that um, back home so I could watch my little brothers once their football season started, just working out there and then just back here, really. Just really just working out, just been grinding and just staying with love, staying with the fam. And just how different do you feel like it is coming into this season with, you know, just the talent y'all have on the roster and just the, the way people are looking at y'all like these guys can do something this season? Yeah, it's definitely way different um, compared to all my other years. I mean, this is our first year with the same head coach two years in a row and with like pretty much the same team um, with a few new additions of the newer guys. But I mean, I mean, this is like our first year with a majority same group of the year before so I feel like it's going to be a real good year and um, I feel like the expectations are obviously higher since we made the playoffs but I mean I feel like that comes with it when you have a good team. When you and Zion got drafted I mean you guys were so young I think 19 you know going into year four how much you feel like you've learned just about you know what I got to do on a day in and day out basis to, to just you know, get minutes be in the rotation contribute and things like that. Um, I mean yeah coming into year four you just I mean I mean, I've been in the league for so many years now. I mean, not so many. I'm not going to act like I've been here a lot. But for these three years, I've been through a lot of adversity and seen a lot of stuff. So just, I mean, I feel like it's easier to come in this year just knowing what I need to get done and what I need to do to start the season off right this year um, just so we don't have any slip-ups like last year, like when I had to go down to the G League or anything like that. Your role has changed a lot uh, throughout these last three years. Um, it might be changing slightly again this year with incorporating D back in uh, to the lineup. What have you worked on sort of this this summer to keep expanding your skill set and you know fitting in where you can? Uh, yeah, I've just been working on my handle a lot, um, a lot. That's what me and coach, all the coaches have been working on a ton is just making sure I have a tight handle for this year in case I do have to be on the perimeter more. Or, I mean, even if I'm still at the five, I can still handle the rock when we have our small ball group in, so I can just get rebounds and go. Um, and then just working on my shot as always, just trying to get that more consistent this year. Yeah. Has there been communication uh, from the coaching staff in terms of, hey, like these are, I know you talked about the ball handling, but um, more like role specific items, like, hey, this is where we sort of see you come for this upcoming year. And uh, these are the things you should focus on. Yeah, Coach Green, me and him just talked a lot. I mean, it was really just working on my shot and my ball handling so I can come and play that small ball five um, with the first group and second group play the four and the five. Just, um, I mean, really wherever they need me, uh, be able to switch one through five and working on getting a lot stronger this year, working on my footwork a lot so I can just guard better pretty much, just being able to move my feet a lot better. This summer you connected with uh, B Mike and politics. Yeah. Y'all did a court. Um, what did that mean to you? How did it come about? Um, I mean, that court meant a lot to me. Uh, my boy Jalen came up to me with the idea, asking me if I wanted to have my name on a court out here, like because he was going to refurbish it. And I was like, bro, of course. Like, I don't even want my name on it. I just really just want to help give back to this community that's given so much to me these past few years and really accepted me as a kid from Ohio, knowing nothing about New Orleans, never being here before, and just. Moving here, y'all really accepted me, so I wanted to do something to help out with the kids and all that, and I, I felt like that was my opportunity to do that. Yeah, you and Z have been close since y'all came in together. Obviously, last year was tough on him. Just what's yeah. it like just seeing him back healthy? Seems like he's in a better mental space now coming into this season. Uh, I mean, it's great just seeing him back with the guys, like, I mean, all the time and just seeing him, like, I mean, he's just happy again. You can tell, like, I mean, last year it was really hard for him because, I mean, everyone was just on him the whole year. And I knew how much he really wanted to be out there, even though he couldn't. Um, just, I mean, he, him just knowing he can be back, I, it just brings a smile to his face and brings a smile to all of our faces because you never want to see your friend or your close brother, I mean, like, upset and sad and down on himself. He wasn't really down on himself, but, like, I mean, he's just down. Like, he had to sit out the whole year. So just seeing him back and ready to go is just awesome. Good? Thank you, guys.